My name is Dave Kading. I practice in Seattle, Washington. And my passion is to enrich people's lives so they can succeed to their greatest potential. We do that through our practice and through the patients that we see. And we also do it through the company that we have called Optometric Insights. Yeah. Mila Brujic, I practice in Bowling Green, Ohio. I'm part of Premier Vision Group, which is a three location optometric practice. And uh, my passion is just truly giving people the best possible eye care and uh, helping the industry move forward through innovations and helping and educating. So we started it about two years ago, and it's really built around inspiring success, providing young stu or students, younger practitioners, with career coaching tools that'll help them hopefully make the best or the right decisions as they're moving through their professional careers, which really starts when you get into optometry school. Right? Yeah, what we saw, found is that a, a lot of students wait until they graduate to start thinking about their optometric career. And, what we want to do is we want to inspire their success prior to them beginning their formal career, doing so at a much earlier stage. By getting them thinking about the appropriate things, we think that optometry students can crush it when they graduate by having forward-thinking ideas and forward-thinking concepts. We all know that the biggest fear and concern is, is where our student debt comes into play. You know, we, we uh, survey students on a regular basis and get anywhere from a $50,000 loan, which that would be awesome, all the way up to $350,000. And when you've got a six or 7% interest and you're trying to do that over the course of 10 to 20 years, we're looking at a monthly payment of two, three thousand dollars and uh, if you if you make about seven thousand dollars or if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year you're gonna after taxes take home about seven to eight thousand dollars so your student investment is gonna take up a significant percentage of your take home so we think it's a challenge for students to, to start thinking about those things and figuring out where the investment comes in and how they're going to formalize that payoff in an appropriate manner. Sure. There's opportunities though, and the opportunity really exists in finding what you're passionate about and helping develop that. So think about why you went into optometry school. There was probably something that triggered that response. Specialty contact lenses, medical management of eye disease. Find out what your passion is and crush it. Literally develop it and build it up. And that's how you're gonna ultimately do two things. Take care of your patients and making sure that you're repaying the loans that you may actually have. We believe that being successful starts here and what is success to you. For each person that's different. That may be freedom to do the things that you want to do and be able to travel. That may be a significant percentage of money. That may be capable of seeing enough patients throughout your day, spending time with your family. So success needs to be defined internally and uh, then that gives you a target that you can shoot for. Sure. And we believe that you can actually stand in your future and look back at where you need to be or where you've come from. And if you see what you're looking at, you can outline the roadmap to get you into that state of success. Whether it's, you know, I'm not gonna be successful unless I own my own practice, because that's gonna give me freedom. I'm not gonna be able to be successful unless I work in corporate optometry because that's gonna give me a significant amount of money right away when I graduate. Whatever it is, you can define your success early on so that you can create that roadmap. And we have some really unique and some novel tools that we're in the process of creating to help look at success so that we can maximize it earlier on. And the cool thing about it too is that when you're looking at the future and trying to track back, that's gonna change. It's gonna be constantly changing and constantly evolving as your knowledge of the profession increases. And with that, you just need to make sure you're agile in terms of the roadmap that you're taking to get there because you don't necessarily want to be so focused on success that you miss the stuff along the way and yeah. the opportunities along the way. So make that mental roadmap, make it happen, find out what you think success is, but be agile enough to know that that's going to change throughout time as you progress through the profession. Sure. You know, if I could go back and talk to a younger version of me, um, one of the things that I would do is say, relax, don't worry so much about your student debt, and make sure that you're living as modestly as possible literally a day after graduation because at that point I know what it's like to live like a student and I can continue on that pathway. As soon as we start 
increasing what we're actually doing in terms of mortgages and car payments and things like that, it's sometimes difficult to give that up if in fact we want to make a career change. You know, we've, we've had the incredible blessing of becoming very connected by forming really good relationships with people in optometry. And I think that if I had could go back, I would have started that earlier. So I might have been able to find a better job had I started looking in my first and second year rather than waiting until after graduation. And I see some students that come to certain programs that, that, that we do in my state, maybe the legislative day and go in and talk to legislators or come to the uh, optometric meetings, the AOAs, the state association meetings, and they're doing it in their second, third year and they're forming incredible relationships that they're going to be able to leverage when it comes time for them to look for a job. We're, you know, we're here at this meeting with Vision Expo and we love Vision Expo because it shows us an interesting side of optometry that we maybe don't get at Academy. We love Optima, you know, the Academy and AOA, but each of the meetings has a different feel to it. This shows the benefit of private practice retail in a very unique way that I'm energized by every time I'm here, just the fashion of the meeting and you know, all the people that are energized by the, the look that we can have for optometry. I love that about this meeting. And you know, as Optometric Insights, we're certainly open uh, at meetings. You're welcome to come up and talk to us. You can contact us through email anytime, our Facebook page, Optometric Insights. Um, and on our website, we have a blog where we talk on a relatively regular basis and post blogs, which are videos of just things that we're thinking about, ideas that we can get in, in, engaged with. And you can also email us anytime at contact at optometricinsights.com. Reach out to us in any way. If there's a way that we can help you to be more successful earlier in your career, we'd love to inspire your success. Awesome. Yeah, we definitely want to be a part of that. And I echo everything that Dave says. Feel free to reach out to us anytime to see us at a meeting. Let me hop in the frame with you. I'm just saying, I approve of this I approve, these guys totally rock, and definitely check out all their stuff, and come see them at the next meeting. Thanks, Matt. Hey, boys, Matt. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. You got it. Hey, we got to get.